So here we have the Toyota Corolla Estate on a 71 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well. Uh, we've also got this vinyl boot liner which would have been an additional extra. Uh, and if you wish to increase the boot space even further, a 60-40 split folding rear seat as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle. And over on the right-hand side, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge for the car. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles. They are 24,648. Um, you can change information displayed up there using buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here. We've also got our phone and stereo controls there as well. Over on the right-hand side, stereo controls continue, along with cruise control and speed limiter, with lane departure warning system as well. In the centre, we then have the main touchscreen. So as you can see, uh, this car's got satellite navigation, really nice clear colour display. It's a very easy system to use. We have done a video that shows how this system works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel, uh, if you wish to view that. Uh, when it comes to our audio options, uh, we've got AM, FM and DAB radio, USB input, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, and you can project certain Toyota-friendly apps up onto the screen via Miracast as well. Uh, you can go to the audio menu uh, and you will be able to uh, set favourite radio stations, uh, for example, from there. If we come back up to the home screen, you can pair your phone from that bottom left-hand corner. And if I pop the vehicle into reverse, you'll also see we have a full colour reversing camera uh, on there to go along with the parking sensors. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Uh, you can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and when you're happy with those settings you can turn your air conditioning on and it's on when that light shows or off from here or hit auto in doing so the car will now take full control of the fan speed and the direction of the air to maintain those temperatures you can override that whenever you wish to below that we have a heated driver and passenger seat both seats have two different heat settings each and then we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.